they underestimated Russia and now they are paying for it. Official admission of Kiev. This is uh, Ukraine. Satellite picture, night satellite picture, lights over Ukraine, November 24th. You can see Kiev there right uh, in the middle. And the other little bright light to a 9 o'clock position is uh, Lviv, the border on the border of Ukraine with uh, Poland. So uh, there's a lot less lights over Ukraine right now. So they underestimated Russia and they're paying for it now. Official admission of Kiev. Putin hit all the major thermal hydropower plants in Ukraine. All of Ukraine's major hydroelectric and thermal plants have been damaged as a result of Russian strikes since early October. All of them, major hydroelectric and thermal plants damaged. Vladimir Kudritsky, head of Ukrainian energy company Uren Ergo, told NV Business in an interview. As a result of the seven rocket attacks that began October 10, all major thermal and hydro power plants in Ukraine have been damaged, he said. Therefore, the new Euro Russian plans, you read first, they want to kneel the Ukraine without a big war, and they will be successful. They consider it in Moscow through the energy of the great, of the heavyweight that kneel. According to Kudritsky of Ukraine, the consequences of November 23rd attack were the greatest in Ukraine, was blocked out in all areas, blacked out in all areas. The power plants of three Ukrainian Four nuclear power plants were also shut down after this attack because it was impossible to feed their generating energy into the grid. So even the nuclear power plants, they say here, were shut down. The power plants of three Ukraine's four nuclear power plants were also shut down. Russia's launched massive missile attack, Ukraine October 10, following the Crimea Bridge explosion two days before that. According to Russian Defense Ministry reports, the attacks continued October 15 to 19, October 22nd, October 30 to 31st, November 15, and the most recent was November 23rd. And as a result of the November 23rd attack, authorities in Kiev, Lviv, and Vinistia regions reported destruction of infrastructure facilities. Many areas of the country began to face problems with electricity and water and heating, obviously. Public transport and metro were also closed down. Blackouts affected Moldova, which also was a pro-Western government. Ukraine managed to rebuild Moldova, as we know, is a separate country, but it used to get its power from Ukraine. Now, Ukraine managed to restore about 50% of power supplies, but power outages continued throughout the week. Shortly afterwards, the Ukrainian authorities stated that they were negotiating electricity imports from neighboring European countries like Hungary, Slovakia, and Romania. Not Hungary, Hungary, sorry. Hungary, Slovakia, and uh, Romania. The Russian Defense Ministry said Russian forces launched an uh, attack using long range air, sea, and land uh, targeting Ukraine military command and control system and related energy facilities. All designated targets were hit. This will be continued. And I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.